Ironically, the powers being used against these protesters are from colonial times, used by the British against leftist rioters here. With this move, it's clear the Hong Kong authorities feel they have no alternative but to choose confrontation over compromise. The risk, of course, is that it makes everything here a whole lot worse. Hong Kong is more divided and volatile than ever, and there is no end in sight. Well, since June, the protests have affected uh, all parts of Hong Kong. Tensions uh, remaining high following that uh, government decision to ban face masks. Sky's special correspondent Alex Crawford joins us tonight from Yuen Long in Hong Kong's new territories. Uh, Alex, uh, what is happening there tonight? Well, it seems relatively calm right now. That wasn't the case a short while earlier. I think the anti-mask law came in. There was lots of warnings to leave. They thought they were worried about being arrested. Earlier, though, this was uh, the car, the off-duty policeman's car, which was attacked. Uh, he was in it at the time when the fracas first started. Uh, fires were started. Uh, there was a, a, a lot of outs, a scene of outrage. You can see over there they broke into a, um, uh, a Chinese bank and trashed it. The fire brigade were called. They cut off the, the roads here. Um, and there was a scene of, of great, um, pretty much a lot of outrage here. With me, though, is, is Ivan Chung, who's a freelance photographer who witnessed it all. Ivan, tell us what happened. Perhaps talk us through what happened. You were, you were here at the time when... Um, when uh, it, all, it all kicked off. Tell me what happened. Uh, at the beginning, I saw this car was surrounded by protesters. Mm -hmm. And then at the beginning, there was, it was a normal chat. And then, and then the man is getting anxious. And then more and more protesters would gather around his car. His car. Mm -hmm. And then he came out and then put, put his hand at this position, and then hold, hold, and then watch around what happened. And, and some, people, people felt he had, he was going to reach for a gun. Yeah, I guess so. So suddenly, a protester rushed to him, and then, and then like grab, grab his neck, yeah, grab his neck, and then more and more protesters rushed to him, and then he was pushed down on the ground. Yeah, and then when he was on the ground and then suddenly a huge sound of gunshot. The shot went out? Yeah, and then I saw one man like getting shot by, by, the, by, the, by, the, by, by that police. And then Did ran. you actually see the policeman firing the gun or you're not sure who shot it, who fired it off? I saw what it, what the police shoot the gun. Shoot, right. shoot, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then? And then a Anger so, broke yeah, and then, out, and then right? a gasoline, gasoline bomb was thrown on the police, mm -hmm. and then I saw his hand was injured, mm -hmm. and then he ran to, to that to, to that position, mm -hmm. and then and then he dropped dropped his gun. He dropped because, his gun because he yeah. can't hold it because of his hand injury, and then the, that gun was thrown on the on the, on the on on, a, mm. near, on the other place, mm -hmm. and then he take able to take the gun, and then like walk to this side, mm -hmm. to that way. Mm -hmm. and then, Where he called for help. And yeah, another... he, was, he was on his phone. Mm -hmm. Another and... police picked him up. No, no. And then another two EU car came, and then more riot police came out from the car, and then he get out, get in, into the car. Mm -hmm. And then on his way, there are some citizens on, on the side, and then this police Point his gun to to those citizens on the on the on, on the side to be keep them back or what? No, because like those citizens on 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 the on the side was just scream at him like, mm -hmm. how can you shoot on people? And then he, he suddenly point his gun to those innocent people on on, and on the side. Ivan Chung, thank yeah. you. Valuable um, eyewitness. I just want to give you an update. Uh, the hospital in Tun Mun has confirmed that a 14-year-old uh, boy has been admitted there with a, shotgun, shot, a gunshot wound to his left thigh. He is undergoing surgery and his condition is said to be serious.
All right, OK, Alex Crawford, we wish him uh, well. Thanks very much indeed for that. Uh, stay